pecans and caramel and chocolate. Oh my! As far as I'm concerned, that's the trifecta of dessert perfection. Are you with me? Great, because today on All Day I Dream About Food, I'm showing you how to make keto pecan turtles. The first thing we want to do is make some sugar-free, keto-friendly caramel sauce. Now you've probably seen me do this before, but this one's a little bit different. I modified the recipe to make it thicker so it doesn't run everywhere as you're making your keto turtles. So we're gonna start with a quarter cup of unsalted butter, a quarter cup of Swerve Brown, and a quarter cup of allulose. You can also use Boca Sweet. Now I use two sweeteners here because I think it makes a better caramel sauce. Swerve Brown on its own will recrystallize, but it has better flavor, and allulose or Boca Sweet keeps it soft and gooey. So you're gonna melt these things together in a good saucepan over medium heat and keep whisking until it's nicely combined. Then you're gonna bring it to a boil and you're gonna stand near it whisking very frequently, making sure it doesn't burn and letting it cook for about two minutes. You really just want the mixture to darken a little and to begin to thicken a bit. And once it's cooked nicely for a little bit and it's been bubbling for about two minutes, you wanna take it off the heat and you're going to add a third cup of heavy whipping cream. It's going to bubble a lot, don't be surprised. Now once the mixture has stopped bubbling like crazy, you're gonna add a little xanthan gum. This just helps give it the right consistency. So it's just a quarter teaspoon, and what I like to do to make sure it doesn't clump is I start whisking with one hand, and I slowly tap in just a little xanthan gum a little bit at a time. Keep whisking, keep whisking, and it won't clump up. Now we're gonna get our caramel sauce back over heat for just a little bit, about one minute more to thicken it up. Bring it back to a nice boil and get your timer ready and set it for one minute. Once it's done, you're gonna set the caramel sauce aside and let it thicken. At this point, our caramel sauce is still quite runny. It won't work in the turtles just yet, so you wanna set it aside and let it cool until it's nice and thick. Depending on what sweeteners you used, you may have to let it cool for up to 40 minutes. You want it to be nice and thick, but still pourable. While we're waiting for our caramel to thicken up, we can toast our pecans. So I have two cups of pecan halves here, and I'm just gonna spread them out on a parchment lined baking sheet. You wanna make sure they're in a single layer so that they brown evenly. Then you're gonna put them in a 350 oven, and you're gonna keep a close eye on them because they can take anywhere between five to 10 minutes. When in doubt, take them out a little bit early because the hot pan will continue to toast them. So our pecans are out of the oven and they are nicely browned and yay me, I didn't burn any of them. I have honestly burned more pecans than I care to admit in my life. Now you're gonna let them cool till they're not too hot to touch. And then you're going to make little piles of about three or four each, depending on the size of the pecans. With these ones, I like to do about four pecans per pile and just kind of make them a little star shaped. And you should get about 24 piles. And you don't have to use the perfect pecan halves either. You can use some of the broken pieces and just make them turtle shaped. And once you're done, you can set that aside and hopefully your caramel sauce is ready. Okay, checking on the caramel sauce. Mine actually seems like it might be a little too thick at this point, which is fine. You can just set it right back over very low heat until it loosens up a little. As I said, you want it to be pourable, but pretty thick. If it's not thick enough, let it sit for a little while longer. Okay, I can tell it's almost ready because as I lift it up, it thickly dribbles down, just like that. That's what you're looking for. Okay, once I have my caramel at the right consistency, I like to transfer it to a measuring cup with a spout so that I can drizzle it over a little more easily. So I'm just using the same one that I had my heavy cream in earlier. And now I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of caramel sauce over every cluster. You're looking at about two teaspoons per cluster of pecans. You wanna make sure you get some caramel sauce on every pecan so that it sticks well together. And if at any time while you're putting your caramel sauce over the pecans, it gets too thick, you can just gently rewarm it either over low heat in the pan or even just right in the microwave. Give it 10 seconds. Before we can add the chocolate, we need to let this caramel set for a little while. I like to put it in the freezer for about an hour to really firm up. We're entering the home stretch, guys. 
stay with me. It's worth it, I promise. So our final step is to take some sugar-free chocolate and put it in a heat-proof bowl and set it over a pan of barely simmering water. And so I have four ounces of dark chocolate. You could use milk chocolate as well. And I'm gonna add one tablespoon of butter. And as always when melting chocolate, stay nearby, stir it frequently until it's smooth. The minute it's smooth, get it off the heat. Our chocolate is nice and smooth now and we can start putting it on our turtles. So I'm just gonna take a small spoon and drizzle a little over each one. Your chocolate should be thick enough that it doesn't just run off all the sides. You need to sort of dab it on. And if you're feeling a little fancy, you can grab some flaked sea salt and sprinkle the tops with that too. Okay guys, look at this. I have a beautiful pan of keto turtles. You do need to set the chocolate, so you probably wanna get them into your fridge for half an hour to an hour. See you back here in a few. Looky, looky what I have. We've got keto pecan turtles. Honestly, these were one of my favorite candy growing up and I'm so delighted to be able to eat them in a healthy way. So let's take a bite. Mm. Mm. Crunchy toasted almonds, gooey sugar-free caramel, delicious chocolate. It's the perfect trifecta of keto desserts. I got pecan turtles. I got keto turtles. Mm, so good. For this delicious keto candy recipe and so many more, please check out alldayidreamaboutfood.com.